Electric cars might be very new and unfamiliar to a lot of people, but they are, in fact, way simpler than diesel or petrol cars. Most electric motors have three moving parts. A normal combustion engine, a diesel or petrol engine, has somewhere around 10,000. Think about that, it's just mad. Not only that, but an electric car has no gearbox, so that's what gives it that kind of slightly eerie, uninterrupted stream of acceleration that really characterises electric cars. And that's also why an electric car tends to lose range so quickly on the motorway, because an electric motor doesn't have a gearbox, so it's working much harder at 70 miles an hour than it is at 30 miles an hour, unlike a petrol or diesel engine which has a gearbox and therefore is doing much the same revs at 70 as it is at 30. Of course, any electric car must have batteries to store the power that drives the motor, hence needing to plug it in, in just the same way you have to plug in your phone to give it power. Normally, the batteries in an electric car are lithium-ion cells, and often they are arranged along the floor or spine of the car in order to keep the weight low. Weight is a big issue, since the amount of batteries needed to power a modern electric car weigh more than your average petrol or diesel engine. As with hybrids and plug-in hybrids, electric cars will also store the energy generated by braking and freewheeling to boost the range. It's really that straightforward. The mains power charges the batteries, the batteries power the electric motor, and the electric motor turns the wheels. That is how an electric car works. For more electric car advice and reviews, head to drivingelectric.com.